Hello everyone, and welcome to the video for Unit 2, Day 2. And today, we are working on dividing a whole number by a fraction. Yesterday, we divided a fraction by a whole number, and so today we're trying the reverse of that. And today's video is dedicated to Sean in 6C. Hey, Sean. Let's take a look at this problem. We're going to read it, and we're going to underline the math clues we have, and then we're going to double underline the question, or what it's asking us to find. So Alan has a piece of wood that is four feet long. OK, that looks like a math clue to me. And he wants to make pieces that are each one third of a foot long. So each piece is going to be one third of a foot. How many pieces can Oops, can he, not can be, can he make? So that's what it's asking us to find. Let's double underline that. How many pieces can he make? And then the first part is asking us to draw a diagram to represent this situation. So one way that you can represent this is with a tape diagram. So the full piece of wood is four feet long. So let's draw that first. So we're going to have... This is our diagram, and there's four feet, so I'm going to split it into feet first. So four feet total. Here's one, there's one foot, two feet, three feet, and then at the end, four feet, just like that. So now we have our four feet piece of wood, and then Alan is splitting this full four feet into pieces that are each one-third of a foot long. So now what I can do is I can start thinking to myself, all right, I need to divide up each of these into thirds, because the pieces are going to be one-third of a foot long. So I'll do that here. This one foot is split into thirds. This is split into thirds from here to here. This foot, split that into thirds from three to four, split that into thirds as well. And then I can check. So each of these pieces is one third. Right? This is another third. This is another third. And I'm not going to do that for all of them, because I can figure out that, OK, each of these is going to be one third of a foot. So then the next part, it says to write a division statement to represent the situation. Sorry, write a division statement to represent the situation. So whenever you're doing a division statement, you think to yourself, well, how much did I start with? Well, I can check my diagram. Altogether, I had four feet, also right here. So I started with four feet. And I split this four feet. I divided, I divided it into sections that were each, how big? Each one-third of a foot. Each section was one-third of a foot. So I divided it into sections that were one-third. And this equals, well, I can count how many one sec sections of one-third are there in this full four feet. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 sections that are 1 third in this full 4 feet. So 4 divided by 1 third is going to be equal to 12. Next, it's asking us to write a multiplication statement to represent the situation. Well, if you remember, Yesterday, we learned that if you're dividing A by B, it's the same thing as A times 1 over B. So I can do the same thing here to rewrite my multiplication statement. So if it's 4 divided by 1 third, that's going to be the same thing as 4 times 3 over 1. I just switched the numerator and the denominator there. Switching the numerator and the denominator. 
4 times 3 over 1, and that is going to be equal to, well, 4, I can change that to 4 over 1, 4 holes, and I multiply across. 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 1 is 1, 12 over 1 is 12 holes, same thing as 12, look at that, same number. So, for our answer statement, we know that there are 12 pieces that are one third feet. Okay. So now that we've done this one as together as a class, what I want you to do is turn the page. And for this question, right, this one instead of one third, it's asking you how many two thirds cups are there in two cups. So first, try this on your own. Pause. Try it on your own and continue the video after you've finished. Do that right now. Pause. Okay, and now you are resuming the video after you have tried it on your own. And we're going to check your work. Okay, no more playing around. How many two thirds cups are in two cups? Well, how much are we starting with? two cups. So let's draw out our tape diagram for two. One, one hole is here, two holes is here. And we want to figure out how many two-thirds are there in these two holes. So let's first, we know we want thirds, because it's going to be two-thirds, so let's split it into thirds first. All right, so one, two, three in this hole. 1, 2, 3 in this hole. And each one is going to be 2 thirds. So I count 1 third, 2 thirds. This right here is 2 thirds. Then I can keep going, another 1 third, another 2 thirds. That is also 2 thirds. And last here, two more. Those are also 2 thirds. And then when I write my division statement, how much am I starting with? Well, two, two holes. We are splitting those two holes into sections that are how big? Two thirds, so two divided by two thirds. And I check how many sections of two thirds are there in two holes? Well, there's one here, two here, and three here. So there are three sections of two thirds, three. So my answer statement is, how many two-thirds cups are there in two cups? There are three sections of two-thirds cups. All right, if you got that on your own, three stars to you. Last thing that we're going to do in this part of these video notes is to extend our knowledge a little bit. So we're still going to use a tape diagram, but now we're going to use it slightly differently. Let's read the question. Maria has nine cups of flour. Okay, that's a math clue. Nine cups of flour. If this is three-fourths of the number she needs to make bread, how many cups does she need? Ooh, there's a lot there. Let's read this again. If there's three-fourths, so the nine cups is going to be three-fourths of the number that she needs. How many cups does she need? That's what we're trying to find. So we'll double underline that. How many cups does she need? So let's draw the tape diagram. So we know that she has three-fourths of something. So let's draw three-fourths. Okay, here's fourths. 
And then this is actually guiding us step by step what to do. It says next shade in three fourths. So let's do that. Here's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. And then it says to label the shaded region to show that nine is equal to three fourths of the total. We know that she has nine cups, and that nine cups that she has is three fourths of what of the whole. So the three fourths, all of this is going to be equal to nine. And if the three fourths is equal to nine, so if each of these sections all together gives me nine, I can then figure out how much has to go in each section. Well, I think to myself, three times what gives me nine? Three times three. So if I have three here, three here, and three here, all of these are equal, so then that means I also have to have three here. So if I want to figure out how much does she need all together? Well, three, six, nine, twelve. All together, right, she needs twelve cups of flour. That's gonna be our answer statement. She needs twelve cups in total. Okay. If this last part was a little confusing, don't worry about it too much for now. You'll get some more practice. This one is what we're, is the most important part for today. So now what I want you to do is, on the bottom here where it says next task, after you put your computer away, you're going to get your workbook, and then you're going to work on pages S8 and page S10. All right, so you may put your computer away and then start this next task.